In this video, we are going to talk about recall precision and specificity in Python programming language. So this is a confusion matrix which we have talked in the previous videos and now we want to generate some formulas. We want to derive some formulas from this confusion matrix. The first formula is the recall or sometimes called sensitivity. And what is a recall? It means that when the actual label is positive, when the actual label is positive, how many times do we recognize and predict positive? This is the meaning of recall or sometimes called sensitivity. So the formula is true positive divided by the sum of true positive and false negative, which in, the ex which in this example, you can see the recall is equal to 100 divided by 100 plus 5, which is 105 and the result is 0.95. Another famous metric that we can derive from confusion matrix is called precision, which measures how precise or let's say how accurate are we in predicting the positive label. So when we predict something positive, how many times do we predict it truly? I mean, how many true positive do we have in our predictions? So as you can see here, we have 110 cases which we have predicted positive. But out of this 110, we have predicted 100 of them truly positive. So the formula of precision is true positive divided by true positive plus false positive, which you can see 100 divided by 110 which the result is 0.90. And also another metric that we can drive from confusion matrix is called a specificity, which is the true negative, which is the true negative divided by true negative plus false positive, which in this example, it is equal to 50 divided by 60, which equals to 0.83. And now let's calculate recall, precision, and a specificity for this problem that we have talked in the previous videos. So we simply type from scalearn.metrics, we want to import recall score, and then we use recall score, and we should pass our y true. So this is the y test, which is the true labels for our test data, and the predicted values, which is y print. And we want to store the results in a variable, let's say called recall, and then we want to print recall is equal to this kind of a stuff. I should use a FS string and there it is. And also we want to precision. So we simply type from scalearn.metrics. We want to import precision score and we use precision score. And again, we use y test and y pred. And then again, we put all the stuff in a variable, let's say called precision. And again, we print precision is equal to, is equal to precision. And if I run the code, you can see here is the confusion matrix. Here is the heat map, which we have talked in the previous videos. This is the heat map for normalized confusion matrix. And here is recall, which is one. And this is the precision, which is 0.90. But now let's talk about the specificity, which scikit-learn doesn't have a predefined function in order to calculate the specificity. But we can calculate the specificity based on this confusion matrix, based on the confusion matrix that we have. It's very simple. So we simply type CM in the confusion matrix. And in order to calculate the specificity, we should divide this 67, which is CM index 00, zero I mean, 0th row and 0th column, divided by, divided by the sum of CM elements 00, zero plus CM elements 0 and 1. I mean row zero and column one. And this is the specificity. And if I want to print a specificity, so I simply type a specificity. You can see that here is a specificity, which is equal to specificity. So if I run a code, you can see here's recall, precision, and a specificity. In the future video, we will talk about one of the most famous metrics, which is a fun score. 